Morning. If you're wanting to volunteer in our community, but you don't have a lot of time, we have an idea that might work for you. Trumbull Mobile Meals is asking people to be drivers for the winter months uh, because folks heading south for the winter kind of leave a void for those drivers. Right. First News reporter Alexis Walters talked to one driver who's been volunteering for more than a decade. Alexis is live this morning <laughs> with why that woman wants others to join her. Alexis. Good morning, Dan and Chelsea. A valid driver's license and an hour or two a day, once a week or even just once a month. That's all it takes to be a volunteer at Trumbull Mobile Meals, but they need a lot of help. They use about 40 volunteers every single day. You deliver about 11 to 15 meals in that time to people who are homebound and can't do for themselves. Mobile Meals trains their volunteers before they start delivering one to two meals a day to people in a neighborhood near you. You can do so with a partner or you can head out on your own. And I talked with one of the volunteers at Mobile Meals who called the job rewarding and humbling. Not only are you delivering a meal, but you're offering a few minutes of quality time to people who might not see anyone else in their day but you. I've been doing this since 2007. It was a joint uh, venture with my husband and I, but it's so rewarding to do that. I have four people that I cannot leave out of their house without either hugging them or spending three to four minutes talking to them. Jessie told me that is her favorite part, getting to know the clients that she visits every day. And with the holiday season coming up, you're not only dropping off food, but small holiday gifts too, like placemats made by local school kids, just to make their seasons a little more special. Now, if you want to take part and volunteer, you can find out how on our website, WKBN.com. Live in the newsroom, Alexis Walters, First News This Morning.